Hi everybody, David Dilling from Marksware here. Today we're going to show you flight check and our new Marksware PFTTP in action in a strange, interesting way. Some of you may have heard of this new file format, the .wwf. Actually, it's a couple years old now. And that's a file format which is not printable. Based on PDF, it also has its own file format, the .wwf, and I have some test files here to show you. Here are two files I created. The .wwf I converted from Quark Express into this file. You do a file print and then you save as a WWF. Then you re sort of refry that WWF PDF and out comes a so looking normal PDF which even opens up in preview as you can see here and you get a pre you know full overview of what's inside of that file. Now what's interesting when we take this PDF here and notice their slogan is, think before you print. It sounds very flight check-esque. Something a pre-flight operator would say, well, let's see what happens when we drop. Well, let's take this .wwf file and drop it on flight check. Now, remember, this won't even open. This file won't even open in preview. This file only opens in the WWF reader. So what happens when we drop it on flight check? Well, flight check reads it. It reads it right in compares it to said ground controls and gives us a report. Now what you'll see is it's saying it's not PDFX compliant. Well, they don't have to worry about that. It's not going to be printed anyway. Makes life a lot easier actually in a lot of senses. But having an unprintable file is not necessarily desirable. We see here it is a PDF file and it's that .wwf file format we just checked. Creator and producer is encrypted. You can see fonts, images, use, etc. To use this PDF, what if I needed to print it out to save it to archive it in printed form. What if, it, for whatever reason, I need to print it or I need to edit it? It's going to be very hard when this file, if you have it in preview once again and you try to file print in Acrobat or whatever it might be, you try to file print, what you see is it asks for a password. It makes it impossible to output this file or to do anything useful with it apart from read it on my computer or my device. Not always handy, even in this online age. Go into Adobe InDesign, CS6, and look at some of the tools from Marksware, in particular the PDF DTP. Let's see what Marksware's PDF DTP can do with this. It can convert Illustrator files and PDF files. Will it convert a .wwf Worldwide Nature Funds file? Let's see, convert PDF. We could convert the actual PDF. But let's get wild and just try the .wwf file. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it'll convert it too. PDF DTP will convert this .wwf unprintable file format into a format that, well, is printable and, more importantly, editable so you can make changes and do whatever you need to do with your content or someone's content that wishes you to work with it. There we have it. Host of missing fonts. What you see here is that file has now been converted right on over right into Adobe InDesign with full formatting ready for us to use. Pretty much incredible. So it's very interesting that you think before you print. That's basically Marksware's philosophy as well. I can understand that the .wwf file format could be useful in some situations. However, content is, well, must be available to people in multiple file formats so they can use it the way they need to use it or so that it can be accessed later down the line. When you limit what a file format can do, you're limiting that content's lifespan or usability. Of course, it's always good to be green and use a commercial printer who is green, and I can understand that this WWF format is really aimed at you know people in the home wasting a lot of ink on pictures and other printouts, and of course, uh, medium and small companies, even large companies. I mean, there's no need to print everything, that's for sure. Think before you print is a good slogan. And I do like their icon. If you need information on that, you can go to saveawf.com and check it out today. We also want to give you, with FlightCheck, peace of mind that what you're printing is not going to be wasteful. We're going to help you save trees by stopping unwanted inks to be spread all over the place, unwanted paper to be used when you can stop a pre-flight problem before printing it. That's the whole purpose of FlightCheck has been for years. And I think that with good pre-flighting and indeed thinking before you print, 
you'll come a long way and you don't need to make a file that's unprintable. More information on Markshware and our PDFDTP, cruising over to Markshware.com where you can learn about the PDFDTP technology you just saw, as well as FlightCheck and many other products. FlightCheck is a standalone pre-flight application that checks more than 50 file formats. Well, definitely more than 50 file formats. I just saw a new one. It checks today, a .wwf. Use FlightCheck to check before you go to print, after you make a design, at all different points in the workflow. You can download and try a demo today for yourself and see what we're all talking about. Thank you. David Dilling from Markswear. Wishing you a fantastic day.